Come on. Oh, yeah. I need a silly hat. To drop some particle physics in the club. The LHC is super duper fly. You know what I'm saying. Check it. 27 kilometers of tunnel underground. Designed with mind to send protons around. A circle that crosses through Switzerland and France. 16 nations contribute to scientific advance. Two beams of protons swing round through the ring they ride. Till in the hearts of the detectors, the made to collide. And all the energy packed. And such a tiny bit of room becomes mass. Particles created from a vacuum. And then. Oh, yeah. LHCB sits where the animat has gone. Alice looks at collisions of lead ions. CMS and Atlas are two of a kind. They're looking for whatever new particles they can find. The LHC accelerates the protons in the lead, and the things that it discovers will rock you in the head. We see asteroids and planets, stars galore. We know a black hole resides in each galaxy's core. But even all that matter cannot explain what holds all these stars together. Something else remains. Stark matter interacts only through gravity. And how do you catch a particle? There's no way to see. Take it back to conservation of energy, and the particles appear clear as can be. You see particles flying in jets they spray, but you notice there ain't nothing going the other way. You say my law has just been violated. That's what makes sense. It's gotta be another particle to make this balance, and it might be dark matter. And for the first time, we catch a glimpse of what was for most of the known worse because. <laughs> LHCB sees where the animat is born. Alice looks at collisions of lead ions. CMS and Atlas are two of a kind. They're looking for whatever new particles they can find. And a matter, it's sort of like matter's evil twin. Because it's separate charge and hand in a spin, it's the same for a particle and it's anti stuff. But you get stored in a particle on any shelf. Because when it meets its normal twin, they both annihilate. Matter chews the energy and then it dissipates. Matter is created from energy, which is exactly what they'll do in the LHC. You get and animatter in equal parts And they try to take this back to when the universe starts The Big Bang Back when all the matter exploded But the amount of animatter was somehow eroded Because when we look around we see the matter abounds But the animatter's nowhere to be found That's why <laughs> LACB is when the animatter's gone Alice looks at collisions of lead ions CMS and Atlas are two of a kind They're looking for whatever new particles they can find The LAC accelerates the protons in the lead and the Discovers a rock, you win the head, the Higgs boat. It's the one that everybody talks about, and it's the one sure thing that this machine will sort out. If the Higgs exists, they ought to see it right away, and if it doesn't, the scientists will finally say there is no Higgs. We need new physics to account for why things have mass. Something in our standard model went awry, but the Higgs, I still haven't said just what it does. They suppose particles have mass because there is a Higgs field that extends through all space. So particles slow down while other particles rain straight through like the photon. It has no mass. Something heavy like the top one is dragging it And the Higgs is the boson that carries the force And makes particles take orders from the field that is its source They'll detect it <laughs> When LHCB sees where the animat is gone Alice looks at collisions of lead ions CMS and Atlas are two of a kind They're looking for whatever new particles they can find Now some of you may think that gravity is strong Cause when you fall off your bicycle, it don't take long Until you hit the earth and you say, dang that hurt But if you think the force is powerful, well, you're wrong Gravity is weaker than we, and the reason why is something many scientists see. But think about the dimensions, we live in just three. But maybe there are others that are too small to see. It's into these dimensions gravity extends, which makes it seem weaker here on our end. And these dimensions are rolled up, curled so tight that they don't affect you in your day to day life. But if you were as tiny as the graviton, you could enter these dimensions and go wandering on, and they'd find you. <laughs> When LHCBs is where the animat is gone, Alice looks at collisions of lead ions. CMS and Atlas are two of a kind. They're looking for whatever new particles they can find. The LHC accelerates the protons in the lead, and the things that it discovers will rock you in the head. Oh, yeah. Our understanding of the universe. Can I get a big round of applause for Steve? Thanks. Woo! Okay, super, thank you. Stay, 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 stay. Stay. This is really, really cool. I didn't know that I was going to get a chance to talk to the real Alpine cat from YouTube fame. 
tonight. What's going on? It's kind of another wrap up from starting. It's another one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go. Ready? <laughs> so you've seen the headline, how soon we'll bring the world and the make like holes of don't disintegrate and so we'll descend into the pressing gravity. First Geneva, then the rest of the earth. Should stop the pressing, but you won't get compressed. Cause do they claim they're nothing more than a ruse? Scary stuff, huh? Yeah. It should make some cheap news. Despite what many haters have so loudly suggested, the safety of the LHC has been thoroughly tested. Billions of years of cosmic rays striking the atmosphere have had more energy than our pimped out protons here. But like hope could be created, it's already been done by these travelers arriving since the Earth's first dawn. Let's start with Stephen Hawking, whose voice we like to borrow, whose predictions on the black holes bring some physicists so He thinks that the stop of black holes cannot be created at the energies of the LHC. But if they were, these many holes would be so small that they wouldn't pull in anything at all. They can even pull together, and since they fall apart, there's no space for a doomsday scenario to start. Despite what some news agencies have suggested, the safety of the LHC has been thoroughly tested. Billions of years of cosmic rays striking the atmosphere have had more energy than our souped up protons here. The black hole could be created, it's already been done by these travelers arriving since the Earth's first dawn. What the hey? A cosmic rays, particles born in explosions, and they speed away until something interferes, such as our atmosphere, and they've been ramming into Earth for all its four billion years. The LHC sends protons at high energies, seven times the next best human laboratory. Mil million times stronger than our collisions come a hundred times a second. So can you envision that if the world could possibly end in a black hole made from a particle, it would have happened long ago? So relax. Guys of lawsuits really? have now they suggested the safety of the LAC has been thoroughly tested. Billions of years of cosmic rays striking the atmosphere have had more energy than our pimped out protons. If the field like coal could be created, it's already been done by these travelers arriving since the Earth's first dawn. Now, if you're quick, or of a scientific venture note, a microscopic hole in my argument. You see a black hole from cosmos would travel at high speed, but an LHC black hole would pretty much need to be created at rest in some fear that it could sink to the center of the earth. And then they think these black holes would slowly accumulate until our lovely planet is totally ate or eaten. Well, it's already figured out why the LHC safety still isn't in doubt. While a tiny black hole could breeze right through Earth's rock, it wouldn't cut a path in neutron star stock. These stars are so dense, their gravity so immense, that not even tiny black holes can traverse them. Hence, if one gets created and stuck inside the star, if it could grow, you think we'd ever see one? No cigar. The monopole, strangers, and weirder scare tactics are all taken care of with this one simple fact. When we look up in space, we see neutron stars shine. It's complicated, yeah, but it's the bottom line. Despite what many haters have so loudly suggested, the safety of the LHC has been thoroughly tested. Billions of years of cosmic rays, chugging the atmosphere, have had more energy than up. The dark protons here. But like hope could be created, it's already been done by these travelers arriving since the Earth's first dawn. that I feel the need to address is this idea that some physicists are wholly obsessed with finding answers so much that they gamble the planet their lives, friends, families, and all else that's on it they're all people and despite what you may fear they got reasons of their own to want to keep the world here 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 Alpine Cat, thank you, thank you, thank you stay, stay, stay I didn't realize I was going to be on stage with the famous Alpine Cat. Um, the first thing I knew about the LHC rap was that it was on YouTube and three or four million people had watched it. Uh, how did you manage to keep it secret? Well, we were, we were just kind of some communications interns messing around. Did you, did you, did you, shoot, did you shoot it at uh, five o'clock in the morning? or? or? You just, how long did it take to make it? How long it took to make it, I'm not really sure, but we only shot for maybe an hour or so at a time ever. Uh -huh. But what did you expect when you put it up on YouTube? What, what did you think would happen? Really nothing. I had one wrap up. It had 600 hits in about a year, and I thought this would be much the same. 
And what do you do in real life? In real life, I'm currently a news intern with New Scientist magazine in the UK. And do you ever get asked to perform like you've done tonight? Only here. <laughs> Only here. Well, you guys. Woo! Fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. And you guys out there on the web, if you want Alpine Cat to perform, I'm sure she'd be delighted to do so.